हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सर्जिकल वीडियो ऑफ फेको एमल्सिफिकेशन विथ ऑटो फोकस प्रो इंट्राकुलर लेंस अंडर टॉपिकल एनस्थीशिया जस्ट बिफोर द सर्जरी लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दी ऑटो फोकस प्रो लेंस दिस इज वन ऑफ द यूनिक लेंस डिजाइंड बाय द फाउंडर ऑफ मिली ऑप्टिक्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड डॉक्टर जगदीप काकड़िया डॉक्टर रमेश शाह डॉक्टर सतीश शेठ अलॉन्ग विद डॉक्टर विक्रांत फ्रॉम लाइफ लाइन एंड रॉकुलर लेंस ऑटो फोकस प्रो इज एडवांस मोनो फोकल लेंस विद प्रोग्रेसिव पॉलीफोकल ऑप्टिक्स विच हैज एक्सेलेंट डिस्टेंस इंटरमीडिएट एंड नियर विजन विद ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी that is gradient refractive index technology here there won't be any loss of light as there won't be any diffractive or refractive rings in the multifocal iols there will be <coughs> different rings either refractive or diffractive rings and in the autofocus lens there won't be any such rings so the clarity will be more and it will be like progressive lens which has got distance intermediate and near zone this is a picture explaining how the patient sees during night vision when he wears multifocal lens compared with autofocus lens in the left side is the patient with multifocal lens where his vision is waxy and lot of halos whereas in the right side of the picture the vision is clear and no halos again this is the picture explaining how the patient sees when he wears monofocal lens compared with the autofocal lens the picture in the left side is the patient wearing monofocal lens where he will be having a good distance vision but blurry intermediate and near vision whereas in the picture on the right side the image is clear for all the three distance intermediate and near zone this picture explains the conventional round optic iols which covers lesser horizontal visual field thus can cause negative dysphotopsia whereas in autofocus pro as the horizontal diameter is more so it covers larger visual field thus there won't be any negative dysphotopsia this is the picture explaining negative dysphotopsia seen in normal conventional 6 mm iols and the picture at the right side is autofocus pro lens where there is no any negative dysphotopsia and now coming to the proper surgical video this is a case of nucleus sclerosis grade 2 i am doing fake emulsification under topical anesthesia i am sitting in the temporal side and creating one more side port at around 12 o'clock region injecting the visco from the side port now creating the main incision in the temporal side chamber now i am doing continuous curvilinear capsular axis normally the size of the axis should be around 5.5 to 6 mm in diameter but in while you are planning to implant or focus 
now you can increase by another 5.5 mm because the size of the autofocus IOL will be bit larger so you can make 0.5 mm bigger axis but this is not a mandatory thing and now I am decompressing the entry chamber and gently doing the hydro dissection procedure similarly I am doing the 2 o'clock region just decompressing the nucleus so that any hydro behind the nucleus comes out now filling the entire chamber with visco Sinski via side port. Rotating both clockwise and anticlockwise. This helps in loosening the cortex and thus making the cortical aspiration an easy procedure. Now I am aspirating the epinuclear sheath with the vacuum setting of around 150 mm now I am going for a direct chop dividing the nucleus into two heme pieces the vacuum setting of 350 and aspiration flow rate of 32 once the nucleus is divided I am rotating 90 degree and once again dividing the nucleus into smaller pieces into small small pieces so that the emulsification becomes easy now I'm getting the small small nuclear fragments making the bigger fragments into small pieces the bigger chunk of nucleus is divided again into smaller fragments see the surge so I am decreasing the vacuum from 350 to 300 and this is a last piece which I am again broken breaking into smaller pieces now again the vacuum is further reduced to 250 mm of SG
injecting the visco I am creating one more side port to have a dual advantage one will be easy for cortex aspiration the other one was due to the patient had almost 1.75 adapters of against the rule astigmatism so uh, 0.75 of main port incision and this side port around 0.5 and thus 1.75 adapters of against the rule astigmatism is nullified with this main port and the side port incision now i am aspirating cortex from side port with the help of simco now i'm going through main port incision and aspirating the remaining amount of cortex now filling the enter chamber with visco this is the autofocus pro lens i'm loading into the injector this autofocus pro lens has got zigzag edges it has got dual advantage one is firm fixation in the bag you can see the zigzag edges at the aptic and you can also see the two guiding holes these guiding holes should be in the these guiding holes should be located superiorly in this surgery as i'm sitting temporarily it should be towards my left you can see one guiding hole the other one is behind the iris once the lens is firmly fixed aspirate the remaining visco make sure this is completely removed both from in front and behind the iol now side port is hydrated as i got three side ports and one main port so i am editing all the side ports and even the main incision you can see the centration of iol exactly center and even the intermediate zone and everything is exactly coinciding with the parking images and this is the post of day one picture 
थैंक यू